In the vast, prehistoric wilderness that was our planet millions of years ago, there existed a creature like no other, a formidable predator that would send shivers down the spine of any living creature encountered. Imagine a time when dinosaurs ruled the Earth, and at the heart of this ancient world, an enigmatic and cunning predator stalks its prey in ways never before seen. In this video, we will unveil the astonishing story of Baryonyx, the first fish-eating dinosaur ever discovered. The discovery of Baryonyx began in the early 1980s and has since significantly contributed to our understanding of theropod dinosaurs. The story of its discovery is both fascinating and illustrative of the painstaking work that paleontologists undertake. In 1983, an amateur fossil collector named William Walker was exploring the cliffs along the banks of the River Auk in Surrey, England. He stumbled upon a large, claw-like bone protruding from the rock. Recognizing the potential significance of the find, Walker contacted the Natural History Museum in London, and paleontologists soon arrived to investigate. Over the course of several years, a team from the museum painstakingly excavated the fossilized remains of what would later be identified as barium X. This excavation was no small feat, as it required carefully removing tons of rock to retrieve the fragile and delicate dinosaur bones. In total, the team discovered a partial skeleton, including a nearly complete left hand with its distinctive claw, several vertebrae, parts of the skull, and other skeletal elements. It was a moderately sized dinosaur, with adults reaching lengths of approximately 25 to 30 feet. It stood about 8 feet tall at the hip, making it a formidable predator in its environment. This dinosaur had a slender, elongated body, which was adapted to its semi-aquatic lifestyle. Its limbs were relatively long and well-suited for walking on land, but they also had adaptations for swimming. It had a scaly reptilian skin covering its body, typical of theropod dinosaurs. Its body was mostly brown or greenish in color, providing camouflage in its wetland habitat. Its head, however, had some distinctive features. Perhaps the most striking adaptation was its long, slender snout, which resembled that of a crocodile. This snout was equipped with conical teeth that were ideal for catching and holding onto slippery fish, suggesting a piscivorous fish eating diet. Baryonyx had serrated teeth, which helped it grip and slice through fish scales and flesh efficiently. These serrations allowed it to process its aquatic prey with precision. While they had strong, terrestrial limbs with sharp claws for hunting on land, their limb proportions and bone density indicated that they were capable of wading into water. It likely used its claws to help capture prey in aquatic environments. Their necks were flexible enabling them to reach down into the water to snatch fish or other prey. This flexibility was a vital asset for a dinosaur with such a specialized diet. It was a highly specialized dinosaur with a unique diet and hunting strategy. Its diet primarily consisted of fish, and it employed several hunting techniques to capture its aquatic prey. Baryonyx is believed to have been a proficient fisher, using its long and slender snout to its advantage. When hunting in rivers or lakes, it would wade into the water partially submerging itself to reduce its visibility. It would then use its sharp claws to swipe at schools of fish, herding them towards shallower waters. They likely used ambush tactics as well. It would patiently wait along the water's edge, concealed by vegetation or terrain, and strike at unsuspecting fish as they swam by. Its elongated neck and flexible jaws allowed for precise and rapid strikes. While fish were its primary prey, Baryonyx might have also scavenged the remains of other animals, especially in times when fish were scarce or harder to catch. Baryonyx inhabited regions that are now part of modern-day Europe, specifically during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 130 million years ago. Its fossils have been found in England and Spain, indicating a presence on what was once the ancient continent of Laurasia. These discoveries suggest that Baryonyx had a relatively broad geographical range within Europe during its time. Baryonyx's habitat included lowland areas, river systems, and coastal regions. These environments featured lush vegetation, including ferns, cycads, and conifers. The presence of water bodies, such as rivers, lakes, and wetlands, was crucial for Baryonyx's semi-aquatic lifestyle and its availability of fish prey. The presence of Baryonyx in England and Spain indicates proximity to coastlines. Coastal regions would have provided a rich source of fish, making them an ideal habitat for a passivorous dinosaur like Baryonyx. If you've enjoyed this adventure through the annals of paleontology, don't forget to hit that like button 
and subscribe for more fascinating journeys into the world of prehistoric creatures and scientific discoveries.